Okay, so this is our next video lecture, still under module number one. So, uh, in this uh, lecture, we will be discussing about the uses of our cost accounting data. So, basically, the main uses of cost accounting data are the following. Okay, first, cost accounting data will help the, the ascertainment or in the determination of cost for each product, process, job contract, activity, and others. Okay, which relates to the NTP. So this is by using the different methods of costing, such as our job costing and process costing. So in our next uh, topics for cost accounting, we will have a separate chapter for job costing and process costing respectively. Okay, but again here, uh, Cost accounting data are being used okay, to help in the determination of cost of a product or even in the rendering of services. But most likely, this relates to the production process. Okay, so the second um, use of our cost accounting data is uh, it will help in the control of cost. Okay, so we have been mentioning about this in our previous lecture. Okay, so uh, we can, or the management can control the cost of materials, labor, and factory overhead. Okay, because in this case, they can use the different techniques such as our standard cost costing and budgetary costing, which will also be discussed in uh, the different or in the next uh, topics. The third is cost accounting also helps the management in making various decisions, such as whether uh, to make their uh, to make a certain uh, product or uh, item that they use or to buy it from another entity okay or a component that, that they need i mean in the production of their product so they can either make or buy but in this case this decision uh, will be made based on the costs of making and buying whichever is lower that should be uh, the choice okay so, aside from make or buy decisions, uh, cost accounting can also help the management to retain or replace an existing machine, meaning based on the, the cost data. If the entity will still continue the old machine and just have to maintain a repair in maintenance, so how much would the entity would spend for maintenance and repairs and what about if they will purchase a new one how much will be the purchase cost of that compare it then we will compare it with the cost of repairs and maintenance at until uh the the machine is uh it's useful life is consumed okay so again whichever is has a lower cost then that should be the choice. Another is uh, it can uh, cost accounting data can also help the management in uh, deciding to process further or not. Meaning, for example, if they have a certain uh, product, okay, so the decision will be do do they have uh, do they need to process process it further and sell it for. Uh, a larger mo uh, profit or to uh, maintain its uh, original status and sell it for this much. So again, the difference will lie on the cost of processing further and uh, the, 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 the revenue okay, that they can get. So whichever is higher in terms of revenue with the uh, incorporation of additional cost will be the choice okay so another is our cost accounting data can also 
uh, help the management whether they should continue or shut down the operations. Okay, if, for example, uh, certain um, division okay, of the entity is losing, so do they need to close it or not yet? Okay, so of course, if an, a division incurred a loss, meaning there is more cost than revenue. So, here, the management will see and analyze what are the costs that uh, was allocated that resulted to a loss on that particular division. Okay, another is uh, cost accounting data can also help the management whether to accept orders below its cost or not. Okay, because in this case, there are certain uh, products in which, uh, for example, uh, if they will process mass produce it, uh, the maximum number of production is 100,000 units. But uh, based on the demand of uh, their customers or in the industry, um, th the entity should only produce 9 at 90,000. So, there is still 10,000 uh, units that are uh, left, okay, for production. But, it cannot be used because if the entity will produce this additional 10,000 to meet the maximum 100,000 units, they can no longer sell it. Okay, so the question is, um, if they will... Uh, for example, uh, sell it, would they sell it below its cost for just for them to sell it, okay? Because these items are not being demanded anymore, okay? Another uh, use of our cost accounting data is whether the management should expand or not, okay? So, cost system, meaning a uh, cost uh, items or cost, that can be incurred in expanding will help the entity to determine and analyze if they will expand or not. Another is um, how much reduction in selling price should be made in case of a depression. Okay, because again, um, meaning these items are not saleable anymore. Just like what are happening now during the pandemic, there are a lot of items which are not saleable anymore. So that's why we can see a lot of sale items on sale or even others like for example the vegetables coming from Baguio City and other provinces which are not saleable uh, they even throw it in the trash okay that's how um pandemic okay have affected our economy and it's a um considered to be a depression economic depression okay so, in this case, costing can also help if how much can be reduced in the selling price. But in our case, in, during the pandemic, I think most of the businessmen or entrepreneurs have no other choice at all. Okay? They do, don't even consider the cost anymore. Okay, number four, uh, cost data also helps the management in fixing selling prices. So we have mentioned this also before. Okay, fixing the selling price of products or services by providing the detailed cost information. Number five, our cost data also helps in inventory by using various techniques such as um, ABC analysis, okay, economic order quantity, stock level, uh, perpetual inventory system, and continuous stock taking inventory turnover ratio and etc so we will be discussing these items in the separate uh chapter okay so here uh, you will be learning about the different um inventory techniques as well okay number six uh, our cost data can also help in the introduction of cost reduction program. So this is how the entity or the management control their costs. Okay, and found find out new and improved method for reducing further the costs. Number seven, 
Uh, cost data will also help in measuring efficiency of operations through establishment of standards and variance analysis. So here, standard costs are predetermined or planned or budgeted costs that is uh, expected by the management that the production should uh, incur. Whereas, uh, when they actually uh, perform the activity, the actual expense might be different from the standard. So, there is variance. Variance means difference. So, it's either overage or shortage. Okay? So, another is, number eight, uh, cost data will also help in the preparation of various budgets, okay, such as sales budget, production. So, by the way, this budget is uh, predetermined or projection. This is... Uh, this is uh, prepared to be used for the next accounting period, okay? That is what we call budget, Use to use it in the future, okay? So, we can project our sales, production, purchase, manpower, and even overhead budgets. Okay, number nine, our cost data can also help in identifying unprofitable activities, so that necessary corrective action can be taken. Okay. So this is what we have mentioned in number one earlier, where uh, the cost data can help the management in deciding whether to shut down an operation or still continue it. Okay. Number ten. Uh, it will also or cost data can also help in identifying material losses. Okay, uh, if you could still remember in our previous video lecture under the objectives, we have mentioned about wastage, scrap, spoilage, and even defective items. So this can be disclosed through the report on material losses so that necessary corrective action can be taken. Okay, number 11. So cost data will also help in identifying idle time. When we say idle time, these are, uh, an example of this is waiting time, meaning uh, these are uh, activities that are considered to be non-productive and non-adding value and it should be eliminated because although um, this uh, time is not uh, used, still the entity is uh, um, paying for it. Okay, that's what we call idle. It's unuseful, unproductive time, but it's still paid for. Okay, so here, um, aside from idle time, idle labor also. For example, if the, the workers are not working during the uh, working hours, but still they are paid for it. Okay. So, here, this can be disclosed also through the report, okay? So, that necessary actions can also be taken. This is, of course, to eliminate this um, uh, idle time and idle labor to uh, minimize the cost and unnecessary activities or to eliminate this non-value-adding activities from the production. Number 12, our cost data also helps in identifying idle capacity so that uh, when we say idle capacity, it's like what we have mentioned earlier. For example, if using a machine, uh, the machine can process 100,000 units, but uh, the entity only produced 90,000 units. Still, the fixed cost, okay, for example, the electricity that is being consumed by the machine is still equal to producing 100,000 units although the entity just produced 90,000. So meaning there is still room for 10,000 units need, that needs to be filled in, filled in so that um, cost can complement with the production. Okay, So again, uh, idle capacity should be uh, eliminated as well because here the entity did not maximize its production but they are paying for the same amount of uh, electricity in our example okay another number 13 okay so cost data 
can also help in improving productivity of our materials and labor because here after the entity or the management determine the idle time and idle labor it will be eliminated so that only productive time and labor will be remained in the production okay number 14 our cost data also helps in cost comparisons for example we will compare compare this with the standard figure or comparison of actual with standard we have mentioned this a while ago under the variances or a same period with the same firm this is benchmarking okay or intra firm comparison comparison of actual figures of one period with those of another period of the same firm uh, it's like um uh trend analysis trend analysis Okay, whether the costs are increasing or decreasing as the time passes by. Or it can also be inter-firm comparison. Comparison of actual figures of one firm with the other standard firm belonging to the same industry. So this is again benchmarking. Meaning we compare our, our performance with the other uh, in entity but with the same uh, industry or even our competitor. So, you can also compare actual figures of one firm with those industry to which the firm belongs. Okay, so that's still the same. Okay, benchmarking. And lastly, our cost uh, data can also help in checking the accuracy of financial accounts with the help of reconciliation statement that is prepared to reconcile profit as per cost accounts with the profit as per financial accounts. So, here, uh, we all know that Profit can be determined after uh, we deduct the cost from our uh, proceeds okay, or revenue. Okay, and again, as mentioned before in our previous video lecture, the entity may uh, may uh, they may use different books for cost and financial reporting respectively, but they have to make make sure at the end of the day that it it will be reconciled okay so those are the different uses of our cost accounting data